Good afternoon, guys. What's going on? Hope all is well. Going to a no AC call. It says there's three systems here. We've never been to this house I'm going to. But it says only one of the condenser. It says one condenser is not working. But I don't. I never believe it until I get there. So I'm just going to write. I'm just going to say one, one of the systems is not working out of three. And uh, we'll see what it is when we get there. I hope all is well. Enjoy this weather. Well, New York State weather anyway. Um, it's Dude, it's August 15th. And how is the high 80 degrees? And the low tonight, 57. I love that. Like all my life, I will take that. Anyway, let's see what it is when we get there. All right, let's check it out. What's going on? Uh, My name's Paul, anyway. I'm Dave. Nice to meet you, bro. What's going on? Um, outside or inside is not working? Uh, yes, outside. Well, let's check the inside anyway. Yeah, I'll show you just, what. We'll go in through the inside. And yeah, just to check the thermostat and the filter. When did it stop working? Uh, about a week. That's working totally fine. Um, and uh, But then when we turn the cool, like yeah. the fan goes, right? Yeah. Of course, everybody's saying this is now. Let's just put it to on for now oh, yeah. to make sure it runs. Okay, where's the filter? Uh, Beautiful. It looks nice and clean. It, it looks very clean. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, hold on one second. Let me see. So okay, so the big guy is working. Yeah, it's a little guy that's not. Yeah, okay, so then let's... You could you could keep it on or off. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, I hear the problem already on this one. Hold on. Uh, yep. Where's the disconnect? Right here? Or I hear a problem, not the problem. Um, turn off that it's pregnant. So when they swell up like that, I mean, I'm going to test it anyway, but 35.5. China. China. Because the cold air drops from here. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. So this is a little low on refrigerant. Um, as you see, my evaporation temperature uh, is 29 degrees. But the customer's just going to wait till next year to um, do it. Uh, he does have the system which feeds upstairs so the cold air drops. But he'd rather not add it right now. It's okay. The customer decided to add the refrigerant. Um, I explained to him it's not a good idea because he needs to run it in case there's another heat wave. So we're just going to add a couple ounces to get that up to uh, to where it needs to be. Our sump cooling needs to be 10. We're at 4.7 degrees. So cool. Ten degrees. And there's our sub cool of ten degrees, nine point six. Um, this thing's all set. And then we're gonna go inside and check the temperature split. We'll and take we'll the good. temp split inside. Um, yeah, though he. Um, at first, he wasn't going to, as you guys heard, he wasn't going to add the refrigerant. He wanted to wait till next year um, because it's a downstairs system. And his theory was that it's going to, cold air will drop. And it's towards the end of the summer. I'm sure that happens a lot. The people, they make decisions based on the season, the ending of the season. But 
Um, I explained to him the, the saturation temperature and freezing and that we might have another heat wave. Um, I was just telling him, wasn't selling him anything, just telling him the facts. And he agrees with me, so we went ahead and added 11 ounces of R410, brought the subcooling to, believe it, it settled at 9.6 degrees, which the target was 10. Now I'm just going to go inside, take my temp split, and then uh, I'll be on my way. Yeah, these are those Unico systems, the high velocity. So I'm just going to take my temps split. There's this filter. And... Yeah, this is a beautiful system. I actually love them because they fit in tight spots and they do the job. Hey guys, thank you for watching. That call, the customer's up and going, he's cooling. Um, yeah, I guess it's coming to that time of year since it's cool. Like you're gonna, I'm gonna start to see like customers declining certain repairs. But this, I mean, refrigerant is needed. Like dude, you, you can't run it if. So it's like you called me out for your system not working. I find the capacitors failed, but then as I look deeper, it's not cooling. But he was say his thing was that his and which is kind of true your upstairs systems is dominant but not if your system is gonna be freezing downstairs so i told him that and he went ahead and uh authorized me to add the refrigerant so that was a capacitor refrigerant he's all set he's cooling uh i love those high velocity systems but uh thanks again for watching please like and subscribe and have a great day take it easy